Boo! It's Halloween and time for some spooky science treats with our edible worms recipe from the Kitchen Science Cookbook. First, I'm going to need some helpers. Hi Maya. Hi darling. Hi. Are you ready to help with some disgusting science experiments? Yes. Okay, here's what you'll need. A large mixing jug, jelly, cream, gelatin, green food colouring, boiling water, a tall glass, rubber band, some straws, a spoon for stirring, and if you like to decorate, some cookies. Maya, we're going to need to put two packets of jelly or jello into this jar for me. Can you put that into this heat proof jug, preferably? Perfect. And then, can you pour in one and a half cups of hot and just boiled water? So you're going to stir and stir until it's nicely dissolved. So we're going to need one tablespoon of gelatin. So can you pour that half a cup of cream into here? And that's going to take us to a nice yummy pink mixture. We're going to add a few drops of green food colouring. We want it to become a brown icky colour. So you can see that this is currently a liquid and what's going to happen is that gelatin right now because it's in the hot water which is a protein that's all coiled up. The hot water makes it uncoil, sort of like long bits of hair basically. And then we're going to put this in the fridge later on and it's going to set and what's going to happen is those proteins are going to coil back up but they're going to tangle like, have you ever woken up with your hair all over the place in the morning? Yeah. Basically that's what's going to happen to our gelatin and it's going to cause this liquid to turn into a solid through a process that we call cross-linking. That looks fully mixed, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now we need to make our worm shapes. We have some nice silicone straws here. I'm gonna sit those upright into here. If you've got more straws, you can put more straws in. We've got four here, that should be plenty. So can you pour that into the glass for me? Be careful, because it might still be very hot. So now this is a liquid, and what we're gonna do is wait for it to become a solid by putting it in the fridge. Overnight is best, but you need at least four hours. Luckily, we've made one earlier. Now we need to get these straws out. Pull them out and you can see that the jelly has filled the straws. Okay, and we're gonna try and squeeze them out. Let's see if you can squeeze them out. That's it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's one worm. Yuck. Now, those are great. The way to make this even more disgusting is to make it look like we've made some soil. So to do that, we're just gonna take some cookies in a bag and you're gonna bash those. We're going to pour out these cookies onto our plate to make it look like our worms are sitting in some soil. You know what you have to do next, don't you? <laughs> so there you go. Super simple science from the Kitchen Science Cookbook. Was it yummy? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. The Kitchen Science Cookbook. 50 science recipes you can do at home with ingredients you already have in the cupboard.